What's going on, everybody? Ryan the Mighty Quinn here, the cornerman underscore MMA, UFC 291 behind us now. Great night of fights. Uh, I thought overall pretty much went the way I expected. Uh, Miranda Maverick looked fantastic. I thought she was going to win that fight by decision, but no, I was wrong. Um, thought we were going to see a little more fireworks in the Alex Pereira, Jan Blachowicz fight, but whatever. It happened the way it happened. I don't think Jan was robbed. I thought that um, Alex won that fight via damage. I thought the announcers did a great job at explaining that as well. This clearly was a striking round, stuff like that. It was great. Great, 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 great work. Um, co-main event. Oh, before we get to the co-main event, Derek Lewis. Looked like a solid win there. He looked pretty good. Uh, had a little his usual antics after. Always fun with that guy. I can't see him signing somewhere else. You know, he's got a lot. They got, they, there's a lot to do with him in the UFC, promotionally speaking. And um, all right, so let's go to the main event now. Um, uh, Justin Gaethje knocks out. Dustin Poirier with the head kick in the round two. I think it was 30 seconds in a round two. These are a minute or 30 seconds. Um, but uh, um, upset my boy lost, obviously. You know, I know how much work Dustin puts into this game. And um, I know he, he tends to be he's being very real with um, what happens when he wins and loses now. And I, I this was a number one contender fight, specifically with a knockout, um, which is why we are going to focus on Dustin Gaethje. And why it makes sense for him to fight for the title next. So I meant to pull this up here and I did not, but let's talk about the way the fight went down first. Um, I, it seemed that Justin's hap Justin's corner, Gagey's corner was very happy with the way round one went. Um, I thought he had success with the leg kicks. I thought overall the quote unquote damage was in Dustin's favor. I thought he had the bigger shots. I thought he landed the counter hooks. Um, Justin was doing that little weave, as Mike Brown mentioned in the corner to Dustin uh, Poirier. Justin does to be difficult. And it did seem that adjustments were more favored in Dustin's corner than in Justin's corner, which would lead you to believe that, you know, I guess a lot of, I mean, I, it, it, it seemed like the, in the, the energy was, was let's make it let's let's clean it up a little bit in in, in Poirier's corner rather than you're going to set up your big shots uh, later in Gaethje's corner, which clearly happened. Now um, the knockout, uh, Dustin was he was blocking in the the boxing the boxing sense I I felt and he's been very successful with that throughout his whole career. Uh, it's very difficult to block ki uh, kicks uh, without the the extra frame i think that him he might got uh, caught up a little bit there with that um and uh that and it's well you saw it <laughs> he saw the fight um he doesn't seem to be in a good place about it too but yeah let's focus on justin uh gaichi now again like as i said um you know these are Uh, Justin's fight for the title makes sense over um, Volkanovski. Now, I understand the um, Dana White said, "Oh, we're probably going to roll with whatever Volk wants." Um, that that's, I mean, he, that's not one hundred percent, but uh, it, it's we already been there within the last what is it? Let's see, it's July. That we were there five months ago, and he fought for the belt. You know, he's got a lot to do with his own division. Um, and I think that there needs to be this blood now. I'm telling, I'm, look, I'm trying to look up, uh, Gaethje's last few here. Of course, Tapology doesn't pop up right away now. Here we go. 25 and four record. So let's look at what Justin's done in the last few. Um, okay. He lost to Charles Oliveira. Okay. Who? Who wasn't at the time? Big win over Michael Chandler. Huge win over Rafael Fiziev. Um, the game plan was fantastic. I mean, Rafael Fiziev doesn't give a lot of holes. And Justin kind of picked him apart. Then the head kick knockout over Justin loses to Khabib in 2020. Now, with the way the lightweight division it shapes up, there's, uh, you know, that's that's the creme de la creme. I can't see anybody else 
bettering that, you know. And on top of that, it's very dominating. <clears throat> now, let's talk about, you know, aside from the rankings, aside from knocking out the number two fighter in the world and becoming number one contender at the division, let's talk about promotional purposes. If I'm the UFC, how how do I make more money, all right? I feel like the Volk fight, We'll always be, we'll be there a lot longer, a lot longer window than Justin Gaethje. And Justin Gaethje, you know, I don't want to say he's been he's getting long in the tooth, but I feel like both fighters, both Justin and Dustin, last night knew that it was it was do or die now as far as their title and complete implication fights. You know, they're still going to be in the picture, but they they might have put themselves like a year or two behind with a loss last night, with the way it goes, with the way they schedule fights and everything like that. So. The UFC needs to make money on their lightweight contenders now, as opposed to shooting up another another featherweight fight, another uh, champ champ fight. Champ champ fights, as I've said on here many times, they're fun, but at the end of the day, you know they hold up a lot of crap. You know, Volkanovski has a lot to do in the featherweight division. I, I don't know how many interim featherweight bouts, interim featherweight title fights we've had in the last couple of years. I know I'm not interested in seeing another one. I want to see some of these guys fight for the belt that are on uh, uh, Taporia. I, I just uh, want to see these guys fight for the belt, not an interim belt, and then a unification. I, I don't I'm, I don't think many fans are really interested in seeing that play out again because that story is getting played. Um, I want and I and the same right. I want to see the the lightweights step up. I don't think that there would be a lightweight interim belt. Uh, with this going on, you you more or less had that last night with the BMF title, um, and well, just just keep the ship running. You know, I think that you can have the Gaethje Islam fight, and you know whether Gaethje wins or loses, then you can have Volk again. First of all, I don't think that the Islam Volkanovski fight it was a great fight, fantastic. That could either a happen again, you know, that, again that could happen later, but. I think that Justin Volkanovski is equally as as fun to watch as as as, uh, as the prior. Now, um, uh, what was I going to say on the flip side of that? I kind of said it. So now, <clears throat> and, and don't get me wrong, Volkanovski is one of my favorite fighters to watch. I will always pay to watch that guy fight. And now let's get into a lot how if the Justin fight i mean um islam fight happens Let, let's talk about that for a minute um justin great takedown defense and now he's starting to use it a little bit as we've seen i think he had a takedown defense against justin in this fight i, I think it was it was half-hearted but it was there great takedown against fiziev i believe that would be the same way he would look to take down um islam makachev if needed but also i think that his defense and his angle striking is really funky for someone like Islam Makachev, who's coming forward so textbook and looking to take you down. So that is why that is an intriguing fight, because you're going to get a, um, a natural wrestler with heavy, powerful hands, and he's going to he, he's he's going to, you really got to bring it on him. I don't think that Islam has the developed striking to mess with a, um, a Gaethje. And on the flip side. I want to see how, I want to see how if Islam could take them. I wonder if he could do what what Khabib did to what Khabib did to, to Gaethje. Real real talk because because uh, that that would be I think that would be the ultimate factor. Like everyone's kind of comparing Makachev to the next Gaethje. I think that is the ultimate factor right there. Is I mean to the next Habib. I think that's the ultimate factor right there. Is your Gaethje fight? It's a common opponent, a common top opponent, and where, where do you have the same successes that Habib had? That's what I think. So to wrap it up, Justin Gaethje for the next title fight, it makes sense. The Volk champ champ rematch or another Volk champ champ fight is always there to make money with. Um, there's also more fights that have the featherweight division before putting in another interim belt. Make it happen, UFC. Gaethje versus Makachev. Later. <laughs>